My name is Jihei Kim, and this is my materials selection presentation for asphalt. The journal article that I had looked at was Polymer Modification Bitumen Optimization and Selection. This was done by Monera and Asa, and it was published in Materials and Design, Volume 62, back in 2014, and it is in pages 91 to 97. So for this um, journal article, they are looking at the specific scope of study, of results obtained after the preparation of MC or multiple multi-component polymer bitumen blends based on 800 penetration grade with varying amounts of polyethylene, styrene-butadiene, styrene, copolymer, and chrome rubber. So they looked at the preparation of MC blends of bitumen and then the different blend amounts of polymers of PW, SVS, and CR. The key question addressed in this was, what are the material effects, um, such as uh, reduction in common failure mechanisms like rutting or cracking of this polymer modification, so adding different amounts of PW, SVS, and CR of bitumen? The methodology for this um, was a experimental mixture design process. They looked at these various blends, these MC blends, they have um, shown in figure one on the right, which has various percentages of your PW, CR, and SBS. Um, from this, you could determine what the varying levels of penetration or softening point were. And those would go into the equation for PI, which is your material performance index, your penetration, um, your penetration index, yes. And this number is useful in finding the stiffness of bitumen. So your materials and process surveyed were 10 various blends of PW, SBS, and CR. And the properties you're looking at was penetration, softening point, and the penetration index. One key result from the study was looking at what was the effect of various blends on penetration parameters. So for each of these 10 blends, they had evaluated penetration for um, the blend itself. And from their experimental values, they had created an equation. They use a linear model to fit the experimental values of penetration so that one could develop a ratio develop, or depending on the required penetration parameters they had in mind. And the next key result was what was the effect of various blends on softening point parameters. So using these 10 multi-component blends, they were like, which, um, what did the various amounts of added material, how did that affect the softening point? And so from the results of the experiment, a quadratic model was used to fit the experimental values of softening point so that someone could develop a blend ratio depending on the required softening point they had. So key conclusions from this, varying blends of SBS, PW, and CR will affect penetration and softening point. And from that, you can find a target PI range, the penetration index equation right there. And that'll give you your ideal blend ratio. And then you could take that PI, your calculated PI, and then compare it to cost per ton, which can be shown in this um, chart on the left here. Oops. So that you can choose an optimized material for decreasing your material failure, depending on your penetration and softening point parameters, at a low cost. So I believe this is a useful um, study for pavement engineers who would like to quickly choose an asphalt blend ratio with low material failure at low cost, and they could do so um, quickly.